tour of our Conyers Material Recovery Facility so that you can see how it works. Trucks arriving at the facility stop first on the scale to be weighed, then circle the building and unload onto the floor. A front loader scoops and dumps materials into the end feed bunker, where a drum feeder meters it onto the first conveyor. A mister helps manage any dust. The first conveyor rises to the pre-sort line, where workers remove contaminants, dropping them into bunkers below. Then the material drops onto the disc screen. Cardboard climbs the screen and the remaining material falls through. The cardboard passes two more quality control checks and then drops onto the floor for manual loading onto the baler line. The material dropping through the disc screen is conveyed to the trommel. The rotating trommel separates the material into three streams. Fines, medium, smaller than 10 inches in diameter, and large items above that size. The fines drop out first and are conveyed past a cross belt magnet to capture ferrous material and an eddy current to capture aluminum. The large size materials come out the end of the trommel and are conveyed to a blower sorter which separates light materials from heavy. The two material streams each drop onto a sort line where contaminants are removed. The light sort is conveyed to the mixed paper truck, passing one final quality control check. The heavy side is conveyed to the optical sort line. The medium sized materials coming out of the trommel are conveyed to the ballistic sorter. The ballistic sorter separates two dimensional materials from three dimensional materials. The two dimensional stream passes through an optical sorter with the clean stream yielding mixed paper. The three dimensional stream is conveyed to the optical sort line. The combined feed entering the optical sort line first passes under a cross belt magnet. Then, three inline optical sorters separate number two HDPE, number one PET, and cartons. The stream then passes under a final cross belt magnet and then an eddy current to capture aluminum. Each commodity is conveyed or blown into a bunker and then fed one at a time onto the baler conveyor to be compressed into bales. Bales are stacked and then loaded onto trailers to be sold as commodities. But the mixed paper stream has a special destination. Once a mixed paper trailer is full, the feed switches to the empty trailer. The full trailer is then hauled directly to the Pratt paper mill and unloaded to be repulped and made into 100% recycled paper. From there, the giant rolls are either converted into new cardboard at the adjacent manufacturing plant or shipped to other Pratt facilities throughout the U.S. This facility is the first step in enabling Pratt Industries to provide our customers with 100% recycled packaging solutions. I hope you enjoyed the tour.